Welcome to Goal Globe. The Euro 2024 in Germany is, is here, and in this video, we will make predictions for the group stage, the revelation, the disappointment, the champion, and more. We will also give a brief description of each team. We start with Group A, consisting of Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. In last place, in my opinion, will be Scotland, a team coached by Steve Clark, whose most important player is Scott McTominay. We will see how Andrew Robertson arrives, as he has suffered injuries in the last season. The Scotland team has also suffered losses in key players like Patterson, Heike, and Ferguson. Steve Clark has tried different formations, sometimes with a defensive line of three players and other times with four players. I think it's a team with deficiencies and undoubtedly lacks two or three players who can make a difference. In third place, I put Hungary, a team that went through all of 2023 without losing a match. Hungary comes with a young generation and is undoubtedly a dangerous team. Their star player is Dominic Soboslai. Their coach is Marco Rossi, who has been achieving good results over the past three years of leading the Hungarian team. Usually it's a team that plays with three central defenders and attacks mainly on the right side. In addition to well-known players like Dominic Soboslai and Sally, they have very interesting players. In second place, Germany. I think it is a team that will improve as the Euro progresses. Their coach is Julian Nagelsmann. The big news for Germany is the return of Toni Kroos, who undoubtedly makes the team much better. The players announced that he will retire from football after the Euro. In recent years, Germany has had many problems finding players and defining a team. But the emergence of Jamal Musiala and Florian Wirtz gives hope to this team that has a lot of talent in attack. As group leader, I play Switzerland, coached by Murat Yakin. Switzerland is undoubtedly a dangerous team that always competes well. It is a team that can play with either a three or four man defense, with wingbacks positioned very high. The key player for Switzerland is Granit Xhaka, who will be responsible for bringing the ball out from the back. Group B consists of Spain, Croatia, Italy, and Albania possibly the group of death and the most difficult to predict. In last place, I think it will be Albania. Their coach is Silvino. Albania is a team that has interesting players distributed in good leagues in Europe, but I simply think they are not at the level of their group rivals. They can play competitive matches, but I don't think they can advance to the next round. In third place, Croatia. Since 2017, Zlatko Dalic has been coaching this team and has achieved very good results. Croatia is undoubtedly a competitive team that is always difficult to beat, but they are starting to move to the next generation. Their star player is Luka Modric, who is showing his last sparks of football in the national team. Croatia mixes very veteran players with young ones, is not very offensive, and as their key players are already at the end of their careers, they do not play at a very high pace. Although it is a very dangerous team, I think they will be physically below their rivals, and this could condemn Croatia. In second place, Italy, the last Euro champion, but absent in the last two World Cups, undoubtedly a strange case. Their coach is Luciano Spalletti. Italy, as always, is a very strong defensive team, but they also like to have control of the ball. One of their deficiencies is the level of their attacking players. Federico Chiesa, who was expected to be the star of this team, is currently an unknown. They also suffered two important defensive losses, a Serbi and Scalvini. I think Spalletti still hasn't found his starting team, but he has players to handle many variants and facets of the game. I think Spain will be the group leader, current Nations League champion. Their coach is Luis de la Fuente. Honestly, the Spanish players are not to my liking, but at least they have a game plan and consolidated players in the team. Unlike their group rivals, who are looking to consolidate players in the national team. For this reason, I think they will finish first in the group. Group C consists of Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, and England. In last place, I think it will be Slovenia. Their coach is Maciej Kek, and his team is very defensive with a lot of retreat and a very marked 4-4-2 formation. Perhaps this is one of the best generations of Slovenia, but I think they are still the weakest in their group. They might fight for third place, but in my opinion, they will finish last. 
Their top stars are Oblak and Benjamin Sesko. In third place, Serbia. Coached by Dragan Stojkovic, it is true that in terms of play, it is a disappointing team. But it has good players like Sergei Milinkovic Savic and Mitrovic. I feel they can impose themselves against Slovenia simply due to the quality of their players. In second place, the always competitive Denmark. Their coach is Kasper Hulmund. This team is going through a generational change, maintaining veteran players at a good level while looking for young players to fit into the team. I think their star player is still Ericsson. Denmark is a brave team that seeks to exploit the wings, playing with full backs positioned very high. In first place, England. Due to the reputation of their players, they are one of the candidates to win the title. But their coach, Gareth Southgate, is not capable of managing this team. Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, Bukayo Saka, and Foden are undoubtedly the great virtues of this team in attack. I have no doubt that with a decent coach, England would have won the previous edition and possibly this one as well. In the preparatory friendlies, they are showing horrible play. The main mistakes in the squad selected by Gareth Southgate. Joe Gomez. I understand that he can play in several positions, but he is a footballing disaster. Only Luke Shaw is a natural left back and is not physically fit. I would have called up Jack Grealish because the only player whose natural position is the left wing is Gordon, so there is a lack of an alternative in that position. Group D consists of Poland, the Netherlands, Austria, and France. In last place, Poland. Their coach is Mikkel Probiertz. Robert Lewandowski is still their most important player, although he is not in his best form. I don't think they are a bad team. They retreat. And when attacking, their wingbacks position themselves very high. They are not a team that presses high up. They are not bad, but they are inferior to their group rivals. In third place, Austria. Their coach is Ralf Rangnick, who has managed to make this team, which does not have many stars, a dangerous one. Austria puts on a high press and also retreats well. Undoubtedly, it is a well-coached and brave team. I even think they might finish second in the group. In second place, the Netherlands. Coached by Ronald Koeman, who is still looking for the team and the game plan. It is a team that has quality players who are dangerous, but they also have deficiencies and have suffered a major loss like Frankie de Jong. It would not surprise me if they finish third or even last in the group, but due to the quality of their players, I place them second. The group leader, I think, will be France, undoubtedly one of the favorites to win the competition. Their coach is Didier Deschamps, who already won the Nations League, and the 2018 World Cup as France's coach. He also reached the final of the 2022 World Cup. A great French project, with Kylian Mbappe as the star player, considered by many to be the best player in the world. Perhaps a weakness of France is that in many moments they depend too much on Kylian Mbappe. Group E consists of Belgium, Slovakia, Romania, and Ukraine. In last place, I put Romania. Their coach is Edward Iordanescu. Undoubtedly, it is a dangerous team, but it is far from the other teams that this country has had. I think they lack a star player. I don't rule out that they could finish third, but the group stage will undoubtedly be difficult for them. In third place, Slovakia, coached by Francesco Calzona. This is a team that needs to find its style of play and establish a starting eleven. It is a team that pushes the defense high, which allows them to press the opponent in the ball out, but if the defenders are distracted, it could cost them dearly. In second place, Ukraine. Their coach is Serhii Rebrov. Ukraine has an interesting generation with very good players like Lunin, Mudrik, Zinchenko, Dovbik, and more. I wouldn't rule out that they could finish first in the group. As group leader, I place Belgium. Their coach is Domenico Tedesco a team that has passed its golden generation that achieved third place in the 2018 World Cup, but remains a dangerous team. It is a team that plays very well on the wings. The star player for Belgium is undoubtedly Kevin De Bruyne. Group F consists of Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, and the Czech Republic. In last place, I put Georgia, coached by Willy Sagnol. The most important player is Karatskalia, 
Georgia is a very defensive team, but they have dangerous attackers who have some freedom. It is a team that can grow significantly in the coming years. In third place, the Czech Republic. Their coach is Ivan Hasek, recently arrived at the national team. He will need to find the game plan and establish a starting 11. They have interesting players like Schick and Susek as key figures. In second place, Turkey. Their coach is Vincenzo Montella. It is a team with very good players, but in preparatory matches, they were inconsistent. I think they should bet on a braver and more offensive game since they have players to play that way. As group leader, I place Portugal. Their coach is Roberto Martinez. The Spanish coach is managing to give Portugal an identity, which in recent years has had great players, but many times their play has left much to be desired. Cristiano Ronaldo is still active in the national team, and we will see how the historic Portuguese player performs. Finally, this is how the group stage would look, according to my prediction. Next, I will say, in my opinion, which team will be the disappointment, the revelation, and the champion? Disappointment team. The disappointment team will be Italy, the current champion of the competition that will not get past the round of 16. Although I doubt people expect much from this team that has missed the last two World Cups. Revelation team. The revelation team will be Ukraine, which will at least reach the quarterfinals and eliminate a good team, surprising us all. I think they have a well-worked team tactically and have very interesting players who are in good form. Champion finally, the champion in my opinion will be England. Although they have a terrible coach, I think the players will be able to overcome the obstacles and win the competition. With Southgate, they have already managed to reach a final in the previous edition. Bellingham, Foden, and Harry Kane will be the players who lead England to glory. That's the preview of Euro 2024. We will be covering the competition as well as the Copa America. So if you liked it, stay tuned to the channel.